Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms, and we're down here in Bariloche in Argentina, which is in the Patagonia region of Argentina on a beautiful lake. And we're talking about drones and mapping and time series data. I'm here with Mariana, one of the ecologists that are down here as part of CONACET, which is like the National Science Foundation of Argentina. Say hi, Mariana. Hello. And we've been mostly thinking about invasive species. So invasions are a big problem here in Argentina. What are some of the top invaders? Especially pine invasion, wild pig invasion, scotch brooms. Uh, I saw some California poppies out there actually from, from California. So both plants and animals for invasions. And so why, is, why are invasive species a problem? Because they cost a lot of money, like the control, the management, and they cause uh, economical problems, ecosystem problems. Especially with the pigs, a lot of damage. They're always tilling up the soil as well, impacting the native species. And drones are actually handy for a lot of aspects of invasion biology. Everything from the mapping side. Mapping the, how the pines escape from plantations, the impact of wild pigs when they're rooting the soil, how large are the impacts. And also, if you're controlling them, how well you're doing in terms of the recovery of the system after you're removing the invaders. And so that's just one aspect of drone data. And we've been talking a lot about mapping plants and vegetation. Well, invasive species are actually key aspects and tracking them uh, and, and managing them over time is, is, is a key tool of the drone data. So what have you been your impressions so far of adopting the technology within the science? It's so fast to map like an area that it will take me like a couple of days to do it in eight minutes. That's crazy. So we can scan it, we can look at the area, the percent cover, the density of the invaders and really quantify the impact. Also, it's pretty repeatable. Oh yeah, that's it's crazy good. So what we do here, we can replicate in California where I'm at or in Europe. We can standardize the process using the technology as just another tool in invasion biology. So now we're gonna, we've been drinking a lot of mate. We're about to uh, switch over to some Malbec <laughs> and cook a lot of lamb, some cord cordero. Cordero. Yeah, uh, on the grill in the back. So we have a couple kilos of lamb and a lot of wine. And so uh, that's, we're not gonna talk about drones really anymore. Uh, mostly we're gonna eat a lot of food. So I'm Greg in Scholar Farms uh, down here in Argentina and we'll talk to you again soon.